colloquially called the wall. All women supposedly hit a wall when they're about 35, and if you don't have a family, you are going to be lonely, and you're going to have a problem. You're not going to be able to find a good date. It doesn't matter how much money you make because that's not what men look for in a spouse. I don't think they'll admit it. They'll be 40 and they'll say, nope, life's great. I've never been happier. Young women will see it. They'll be 45. I love my life. I'm single and I'm living up in the big city. They're going to be 55. And they're going to say, you know, well, it has its charm. They're going to be 60 and they're going to go to the young people and say, I've made a terrible mistake. Don't make the same mistake I did. Yep. But by that point, there's going to be a generation or two that believed the lie. You're telling me as women, this is what we fought for? To go to work. To work. In any conditions. Impossible. How old are you? I'm 26. Mm. Has dating gotten easier for you? Absolutely not. Why not? Because all men fucking suck. Am I allowed to cuss? What makes you feel that way, though? Um, well, because every single guy that I've ever talked to has just been absolute terrors. They've played me. They've done me wrong. They've done every single possible thing that you can think of wrong. And that's what they did. How long did they play you for? Uh, about a few months. And there wasn't any warning signs in it that you ignored? Um, yeah, for sure. Um, there's definitely a ton of red flags. Um, but unfortunately, I just continued uh, because I like to see the good in people. But the common denominator here is you. It seems like you're the one who allowed them to, you know. Maybe I am. Maybe I am a red flag. So what do I do right? not say all men suck just because do you suck but it's like every guy that chats to me i feel like he would probably sell me for a smart whip can i'd rather do hot girl summer than be crying do you get what i'm saying so if you were in a room alone with me how long would you last in bed do i have a choice to stay in that room could i leave i'm just asking how long would you last i would walk out of the room he would walk out of the room yeah. you don't want me if it makes you feel better how it make you feel you don't want me he's missing out Women. <laughs> oh, I was keeping it together all fucking day, okay, until I just went to like my OB appointment. And bitch, why was the first thing she asked me was like, How are you? Like, are you okay? And I was like, And I started like crying. <laughs> and she's like, I understand, like, this is tough. Like, cause like people think that you go into abortions, like, yay fuck fuck them kids like and it's like sometimes that is but for me it's like like for me it's like an abortion was a need for me it wasn't a want like i didn't want to do it but i have to like you have to when you're put in that position like you have to be like is it fair to all parties involved including what i'm growing inside of me you know like and if the answer is no like if the answer is even a slight chance of no like then i just don't feel like I don't know and the fact that like i have to grieve it and process it alone just makes it harder and she was literally by i literally fucking love her like she literally oh my god my makeup was fucked <sighs> and she was like you know when you're put in that tough position that late like she was just so supportive and she was like i want you to know you can message me do like the patient portal anytime you need like for support like and i just started crying because i'm like i know i did the right thing like, I know I did the right thing, but it doesn't make it hurt any less, you know? Like, there's still, like, what ifs, you know? Like, what if I could have made it work? What if this happened? What if, like, what if I could have made that family work? What if I could have made that family that I wanted happen, you know? And, it, like, just the what ifs will literally kill the fuck out of you. And TMI, but, like, y'all are my only friends. Like, you know, like, I'm producing, like, milk, okay? And she's, like like how is it making you feel and i was like traumatized <laughs> like i'm traumatized like because for one i'm like like everything's reminding me like like i really had like a whole baby like a whole baby like second trimester everything like like you know and then it's like you like things like this happen and you're just reminded like dang like that could have been you know like what could have been 
and it's like the only person that you want to go to support for that you want to run to and you want to cry to just doesn't give a fuck like and that's why i know i did the right thing you know like i know i needed to do what i did but i didn't want to but bitch if i could have everything i wanted in life i wouldn't be like this and there's just a really big place in my heart for people who work in healthcare who genuinely care about like how you're doing you know like not like okay i'm gonna prescribe you this get the fuck out of my office like like i love her so bad <laughs> she belongs to the streets this is the problem with young females being promiscuous there's no empowerment in this at all sleep with whoever you want do whatever you want but what is the cost for sleeping around with guys who only see you as an ex doll i say x is for reproduction intercourse is for reproduction only because what is the result after what are you doing after a lot of times females are aborting their unborn babies because of their own reckless behavior this is what no standards lead you it's chaotic it's shameless it's heartbreaking it's all these emotions you cannot deal with it's dealing with men who don't even want a family with you this female will never come to that conclusion they'll never tell themselves to slow down to be more cautious with who you open your legs to and why are you opening your legs to them to learn from their mistakes it'll be straight back to the streets we can all say well it takes two to tangle yes the rules do apply for both men and women no one is no one is saying it doesn't but a lot of females don't take into consideration is who is going to be aborting the child who is in the car alone who is the one crying who is the one that's going to deal with the trauma mentally and physically what females don't understand is it's not that the rules don't apply to men and women it's who is going to be the one that's actually going to have to deal with the outcome of the choices you made yes it's your body it's your choice so why don't you make better choices for your body for your sanity but instead you'll make the worst choices put yourself in the worst positions over men who aren't even your partners husbands or even engaged to this is where poor choices lead you no boundaries and no standards this is why this female here is traumatized by her own choices she made no one did this to her but herself lastly did you know she said like around 65 times to 18 is 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 not good it's it, all it's right not, it's not good yeah but like know. let's let's avoid slut shaming yeah though, let's, right? let's, let's be not, it's, it's not, not slut shaming i'm not, not slut shaming me. i'm calling it what it is i'm it's not true. making it up Two you're not calling it what 18. it is you're calling it what your opinion is all men think what? like this i haven't given my opinion i've you said have. you have very said clearly what opinion did i give how did I give my that opinion just now? it's not good. And you just said right now that it's yes. not good. According to and who? That is your opinion. According, According to, to you. According to they, us, the men. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say to you. They're telling you it's not You're good. You're not a man. So why are you siding with them? I'm not I, siding with anyone. I think it's you feel like she's biased mainly because like she's got a traditional point of view. I ain't even gonna lie. You look like you can pick me up. I've been staring at you. You look real strong. I ain't that strong. I mean, would you try? Huh? Would you? Give me one margarita, I'ma open my leg. Give me two margaritas, I'ma give you some head. Give me three margaritas, I'ma put it in my puss. Give me four margaritas, I'ma put it in my tush. Give me five margaritas, I'ma get some fun. Give me you know, there's all these people, yeah, saying all they want is, like, a boyfriend in the winter. They want, like, a winter bay to go to, like, winter wonderland with and all this shit. But I'm the complete opposite. Am I the only one who just wants a boyfriend in the summertime? Like, I'm cool in the winter. Leave me alone. I'll stay in my yard and not bother anybody. But it's sunny. I look like this and I have no one to pick me up and take me out for daytime drinks. And then the people that want to pick me up are stale. 
So it's just like, I just want a boyfriend in the summer. That's all I want, a boyfriend in the summertime so we can go on holiday together, so I can celebrate, well, so you can celebrate my birthday with me. And so I can go out, like you can take me places. I can be doing up passenger princess, but here I am cooped up. Like it's COVID again. What the fuck is that all about? I don't want a boyfriend in the winter. <laughs> I went down on a guy last night and he had dick cheese. If you don't know what dick cheese is, just look it up. <laughs> it's not good. It's basically like when you're so unhygienic and you've clearly not washed downstairs in so long. Oh, she likes <laughs> That it's like cheesy and moldy and stinky. It was revolting so if you're a guy make sure you wash down there and you're thorough every single day and if you're gonna bring a girl home and you know that you are give it an extra clean before you go out because it was so disgusting i had to stop <laughs> i don't mean to be rude like well i guess i am being rude but like it's just simple hygiene she belongs to the streets that's why i go for ugly boys because it makes me feel good it makes me feel like i'm doing god's work and i want people to think Wow, yeah, but you don't so think nice. you don't think they're ugly though. You think they're attractive. I yes, I am attracted to ugly guys. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but they're not ugly to you. Yeah, they are. <laughs> oh, look at him. Here's your reminder. That going out is literally not worth it. If you think you're missing out and you have FOMO and you're in your early 20s, like you're not missing out on shit, I would much rather be home right now sleeping. <laughs> Sensational. I am currently, at this moment in time, the only single person I know. Um, I can't lie to you. It really hit me. It hit me hard. And it sounds silly because why should you be worried that you're the only single person? And you shouldn't be. Like, I am fine. I am, I'm happy being single. I don't mind. But when you have that realisation that you are the only person who is, like, 100% single, not seeing someone, not exclusive with anyone, it's really fucking shit. It's really shit. I can't even lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what nobody fucking says. I'm not a motherfucking city girl. I miss my fucking man. And you need to come home now. So if you see this, babe, I miss you. And come home. You know I'm going to be 25 in June. You are? That's a quarter of a century. Makes a girl think. About what? About the future. You know, like a husband. That's why I'm glad we're going to Florida. What's in Florida? Millionaires, flocks of them. They all go south for the winter like birds. Oh, you're going to catch yourself a rich bird? Oh, I don't care how rich he is, as long as he has a yacht, his own private railroad car, and his own toothpaste. I'm your host, Reminate Princess. These are my last thoughts. The wall is waiting. The wall is waiting because a lot of females don't really want to admit that in their young years in their prime years they chose no standards over standards over and over and over again and where does no standards lead you it doesn't lead you to marriage a family a man it doesn't lead you to a healthy mind and a healthy body it leads you to somewhere worse where you're traumatized exhausted and ran through no one is going to want that and a lot of females don't comprehend this because they like to choose no standards over and over again hoping that there's gonna be something better out of it let me know what you think thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye